Okay, last thing on Lenz's Law here. Okay, so this is part three. I just wanted to um, show you a couple other things. And so back to this problem. If you, if you take this loop and you move it that way, then you are um, decreasing the amount of X's that are in this loop. And so it's going to try and make its own X's to try and stop, to try and keep the status quo. And so um, to make its own X's, the current will flow this way. But another way of looking at this is as you move this across, there's electrons in this wire. And there's electrons in this wire and electrons in this wire. Now, as you move this across, the electrons in this wire are moving, <clears throat> are, um, moving this way. And so which way will they get pushed? They're going to get pushed. I'm going to take my left hand. They're going to be pushed down, but there's no wire to go down. But the electrons will be pushed down. These electrons, if you're moving it that way, these electrons are going to be pushed down too. So these electrons right here, they're going to be pushed down. And these electrons will be pushed down because the, the wire is heading that way. And these electrons will be pushed down. Now we're talking electrons here, not current, but electrons. Now here's the thing is that these electrons on this side, they get pushed down with more force than these. So I'm going to make a bigger arrow pushing those electrons down. Bigger arrow and a smaller arrow over here. And uh, you know why there's a bigger arrow here? Because the field's bigger. So you know the force on the electrons is QV cross B. And wherever the B is bigger, that, that's where you're going to get the... That's where you're going to get more force on the electrons. So these electrons get pushed down a lot more than these guys do and so that forces the current this way which is the flow of conventional current is the flow of positive charge okay um, now you know so so you might be thinking well I'm always gonna go with QV cross B do I ever really need Lenz's law actually I think Lenz's law is easier to figure out anyways you know, it, it's, you know, that it's very quick to see if I take this loop and I move it down, the X's aren't increasing or decreasing, so no current. If I move it up, there's no current. And so I, I just think that Lenz's law is, is easier to use. But um, let me show you a case that's a little bit more magical, a little bit... Um, well, it's you can't. It's there's more going on than what than something like this, and so that this is the case. Let's say I have this region where there's a magnetic field. Magnetic field is coming out at us. There's a bunch of dots, and I got this wire, this long wire, that goes around. Now, let's say this region is like you know maybe a, um, you know just a the, maybe the the size of a classroom or something where all these dots are coming out and let's say that this is the size of a football field or even more maybe maybe it's the size goes around the entire city okay so this is a lot bigger well it turns out that if the dots are increasing then this is going to try and make it's it's going to try and stop the dots from increasing so if the dots are increasing if field magnetic field is increasing, then the current around here, then the induced current will be, let's see, it's going to try and make X's, right, to stop the dots from increasing. So it's going to try and make a current this way. Excuse me. So now that is um, that's a little more magical because you see the the electrons in here that are the electrons actually move the opposite way, but those electrons they're not inside that field whatsoever. In fact, this could be you know hundreds of miles away, and we're saying that it's going to have an effect on that. And so there's somehow that there's a signal being sent from this changing magnetic field all the way out to that wire. Maybe an electromagnetic signal. Uh, maybe when this changes, maybe electromagnetic waves are sent out and, and, and cause that current to go the way it's going. So that's just a little bit more mysterious. Okay, um, that's it for this one.
All right, talk to you.